Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome to the viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, $1 billion and counting, the estimate of last night's massive fire that engulfed a warehouse of the FACI Commodity Group in Kingston Saturday night. Dozens of employees are now in fear of being out of a job. And as you hear in this report from Kelisha Williams, investigators are still trying to determine the cause of the blaze. Smoke blanketing a section of Newport West in Kingston Sunday afternoon. The aftermath of a long and dreadful night. It's coming from this building, or at least what's left of the Face Commodity Limited. This after a massive fire engulfed the facility around 8 o'clock Saturday night. A fire this big, requiring over 50 firefighters and eight units to work through the night. You've seen the goods burning, you've seen, you know, it's, it's amazing. Major, major blow, especially in a situation where we're having so much supply chain issues in terms of supply, etc. But yeah, we'll get through this, you know. And by Sunday morning, it was clear that although the flames were out, cooling down operations had to continue. Richard Pandoe is a chief executive officer of Separal Group, under which Face a Commodity operates. He described it as a nightmare. The administrative office is here for the merchandise team, for the logistics team, sales team. Yes, yeah, so some of it is here for sure. That, that's, that area has also been, at this stage, been um, affected also. The fire definitely has gone through there. So it's um, early days. I mean, we're still, the fire, fire team is here. I mean, they're trying to contain, but I mean, so far it's, you know, it's looked like it's been a hell of a fight. But as he and his employees watched the building burn, questions about whether dozens of people will be out of a job come Monday. Trying to start assessing already how we're going to recover, what we're going to do, whether our customers, our consumers to satisfy, or the factories to keep running. So, I mean, yeah, I, I can understand why they'd be worried. I am also, but you know, we have to go into the mindset of recovery and you know, understand next step. So we have, you know, we have other locations in Marcus Garvey, etc. But I mean, obviously, this is a major loss of storage. I mean, so we do. There, we're going to have to find additional storage. There's no question about that. When our new center contacted Mr. Pandowi again on Sunday, he told us that after preliminary assessment, damage has been estimated at more than $1 billion. Public relations officer at the Jamaica Fire Brigade, Emilio Ibanks, also told our new center that the cause of the fire is still not known. The investigators are there and they are combing through the rubble to see how quickly they can come up with a cause. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.